Hi boys and girls, it's Wednesday today, and today we're going to be estimating the measuring length with a ruler, okay? So that we can draw plans and pictures accurately. But before we do anything, let's do a warm up. On my board, I've got a range of lines, and I'll zoom in for you in a second. What I want to do, I want to think about our comparing crocodiles um, and think about uh, how they compare to each other. Are they some the same? Are some different? Is one longer than the other? Have a little think. What do you reckon? So, pause the video here. Can you decide which one is longer or shorter? Or are they the same? And I want you to think about our comparing crocodiles, okay? Or an equal sign if they're the same. Well done, boys and girls. You're doing a great job. Pause the video now. Excellent stuff. How did you get on? What do you think? This is all going to be uh, looking at our estimation skills. So these two red lines here, I'm pretty sure that they're the same length. So I'm going to say that that's an equal sign. They're the same. They're equal to each other. All right. The only way I'm really going to check is with the ruler. But this is going to help us understand what estimate is. OK. Have a look at these blue lines. This one's here. This one's there. Definitely shorter. So remember, my crocodile always is the bigger amount or the bigger line or the bigger number. OK. Um, let's look at these two. Now, these two are on a slight angle, so it's quite tricky. But again, very close. Some of you might have actually put an equal sign, and I'll give you that, but this line is slightly bigger. Our crocodile eats the bigger amount, okay? Uh, two black lines here, crocodile is eating the bigger one. Um, green lines, these two, crocodile is eating the bigger one again, okay? So, well done, boys and girls. I'm sure you could work that out. You're doing a great job. Now then, how did you get on if you're measuring yesterday? Could you use a ruler accurately? Could you, did you find any parts that were particularly tricky? All right. What I want you to do, I want you to think back to the top tips of how to measure. All right. And I want you to pause the video, just remind yourself of what those tips are, and then um, I'll go through them again and we'll just recap measuring. So pause the video, remind yourself of the top tips, and then we'll go through them together. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so if I want to measure this line with a ruler, what on earth do I do? Well, the first thing I do is I need to look at my ruler and I need to make sure I'm measuring the correct side. Am I using centimetres? All right. Otherwise, we might get a little bit confused when we might think about the inches. So we need to make sure we're measuring with centimetres, okay? Measure with centimetre side, okay? Um, whenever we're measuring a line, we need to make sure that we line up the ruler with the side that we're measuring. So I line up my ruler. Okay. I always start my measuring at zero. Start at zero, and then I look along the edge of my ruler, and then I stop at the end. So I look, and see. If I zoom in, I wonder if you could tell me how long my line is. So, I've lined up correctly. We're going to go all the way along and look and see. Here we go. So we count in millimetres. We're going to count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 millimetres or 10 centimetres. 110. Now I'm going to count my ones. 111, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we can say that that is 116 millimetres. 
or 11 centimeters and six millimeters. Well done, boys and girls. I'm sure you're doing a really good job. Next, we're going to think about estimating. What do you think estimating means, okay? What does it mean to you? All right, have a little think, pause the video, then we'll jump on to the next slide. So estimating, we use what we know to help us before actually measuring, okay? So when measuring, we all know that what one centimetre would look like, okay? So if we look at an object, we can say, oh, how many of that amount is in there? So you've got to imagine the first section of your ruler, that centimetre, and then think, oh, how many centimetres do I think that would be? So if I have a little look at this, uh, this line here, I think that would be about six centimetres. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to have a go at estimating, all right? And I'll just show you what that looks like. So here's a Brit stick. I'm going to be thinking to myself, right, how much or how many centimetres my prick stick going to be? How many millimetres do I think that would be? All right. So let's have a little look. If I was thinking about centimetres, I think mm, that's about eight centimetres. And if I'm thinking about millimetres, I'm going to think, right, if I think it's eight centimetres, and there's 10 millimetres in each centimetre, that must be 80 millimetres. Okay, now what I'm going to do is grab myself a ruler. And I'm just going to measure. Oh, I'm quite far right actually, my estimation skills aren't very good. That's 11 centimetres. If I was thinking about millimetres, I'd say that was 110 millimetres. So, what your job to do today is, boys and girls, I'm going to jump onto the task. I want you to think of, find some different objects from around the house, all right? This is from in school, and you can see we've got heights of cubes, coloured pencils, a pot, and things like that. But at home, there's a blank one for you to fill in on the website. I want you to choose 10 items. I want you to think, I want you to estimate how long you think that item is. You can do centimetres or millimetres if you want to, or both as an extra challenge. Then what I'd like you to do is measure it. How close are you? Could you get it really accurate? So, choose an item. Estimate its length, thinking about what you know about centimetres, how much you think one centimetre is. You can estimate it in centimetres or millimetres or both. And then I want you to actually measure it. Have a go. See how you get on. Well done, boys and girls. You're doing a great job. Keep up the hard work.